in dollars. International students contribute billions to our economy every year, and a program at the U of C hopes to keep that cash coming. As David Boucher tells us, it also hopes to raise Canada's profile on the international stage. Hola, Monica. Hola, Adrian. ¿Cómo te está yendo? Adrian Gill and Monica Arias are undergraduate students in the final year of their studies in Mexico. They and three dozen other students from Mexico, Brazil and India are getting one-on-one -on -one instruction, working on projects designed by their assigned professors. They are the brightest students. They are very highly motivated. They really want to do well. They would like to stay here and come back, which is, I think is the most attractive uh, feature of this program for us. With guidance from his prof, Adrian is programming a video game to help diagnose a condition that causes severe disorientation. The game is aimed at children. My name is That is the whole presentation. Okay. Uh, I know a joke. On the other side of campus, in what could be the coolest lab at the U of C, Monica is working with a robot called Medi that's used to distract children as they are being vaccinated. She has been able to, uh, to go from no knowledge about the robot to now to a point where she's actually programming the robot, uh, trying to make it more uh, smart. Adrian and Monica wouldn't be here if it wasn't for MyTax, a not-for-profit company that promotes Canada as a top research destination. It's a reverse brain drain, with economic benefits to Canada pegged at nearly $8 billion a year. MyTax hopes these students will return to Canada to continue their education and perhaps even work here. I'm just amazed by everything. Well, right now uh, I, would, I would think of uh, coming back if it's possible. But there's one thing they'll have to get used to. I'm a little scared of the winter. <laughs> David Boucher, Global News. iPhone owners are